excited to be here. I literally could not be more excited to be filming this video for you today because I am collaborating with Cruising with Kens. She is an amazing YouTuber that I have connected with and we've gotten to know each other and I absolutely love her channel and urge you strongly to go over and check out her channel. She is doing a bridal makeup look as well and I cannot wait to see what she comes up with for this collab, but this is the look that I came up with. When we first started talking about doing a collab and what we wanted to do and we agreed on a drugstore bridal summer makeup look, I started you know, thinking about what I would want to do for a look and it is so overwhelming because there's so many beautiful looks for a bride. But what really inspired me the most was the idea of just like this radiance. I wanted a radiant bride look, which to me means just bright and light, but looking very natural. That is the type of look I was going for here. I think it turned out just so feminine and soft and beautiful. I've gone to have my makeup done before and came out of it thinking, I don't even look like myself anymore. So I wanted this look to be natural and radiant. And everything that I use in this video is drugstore, including my nail polish. It is the Sally Hansen Color Therapy Nail Polish in the shade Powder Room right up there. And every time I walk by this nail polish in the drugstore, I stop and think if I got married tomorrow, this is the nail polish I would wear. So it fit in with this look so beautifully. So if you would like to get this look, just keep watching and then head straight over to Kenzie's channel and make sure that you subscribe to her and don't miss any of her videos because she is amazing and I am so excited to be doing this collab with her. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we are starting off with this Maybelline color tattoo in this pretty pink color. It is called Inked in Pink and I'm just going to dab it on my finger and apply this all over my lid. And I'm just kind of pressing it into my lid almost because I want it to be more opaque. So once I get this first layer on, I'm kind of just lightly tapping along my crease to blend that out. And then I'm just gonna let it sit for a second and then I'm gonna go in with a second layer just to build up that pink and make it a little more intense. Now once this stuff sets down, it sets hard all day, which is why I want to use it for a wedding look because it's not going to go anywhere. But if you smudge any over here or on this inner corner, you can just take a makeup wipe at this point and gently wipe that area off. And then I'm going to take the CoverGirl True Naked Nudes Palette. To set this down so that I don't have any creasing, I am going to take this shade right here in the palette which is called Champagne. It is a beautiful shimmery um, champagne color that shifts pink just a little bit. And I am going to just tap that all over the lid. And after I kind of work that in by tapping it, I'm going to just kind of sweep a little extra over the lid. And that's gonna set our Maybelline color tattoo in place so that it's not gonna crease on us. Okay, next I'm gonna take this second shade right here called Shell, and I'm going to just um, dab my brush in there, the same brush, and I'm gonna go just above where our pink is, right here. And I'm just gonna slowly build that color up and work it right above my crease to kind of fade from our pink to make a nice transition. Then I'm gonna grab a clean brush and spray it with some setting spray, just to get it a little bit damp. And then I'm gonna go back into Champagne with a wet brush and relay it down on top of just the lower half of our lid. That's just really gonna make that more metallic and really stand out, so I'm kind of going back and forth between tapping that in and sweeping it with my brush. Then I'm going to go back one more time into Shell 
and just go back into the crease again just to make sure everything is nice and blended out. I wanted this look to be very easy to achieve at home, so we're keeping it very simple. I'm just going to clean up the edges here with a makeup wipe, anywhere that I do not want that color. And we're going to work on the brows. So now I'm taking this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in the shade Brunette, and I'm going to start by brushing my eyebrows upwards. I want this look to be very natural, like I said, not really put together. So I'm going to make my eyebrows a little more feathery today. So I'm going to brush them upward to make them look a little more undone. Then I'm going to take the color and just do these little tiny brush strokes going in an upward motion. all the way down to the end. It's gonna give our brows just a little bit more of an undone look. Now I'm gonna take the spoolie back in and just really comb through them going upward again to um, blend all of that product out. And anywhere that you missed the first time, just go back in and fill that in. All right, and then I'm going to do the same to this brow and I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm going to set them in place with this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper in the shade Brunette. I think it's Brunette. Oh, medium to dark. In the shade medium to dark. And these are. this is just going to set those brows in place so that they stay right where we want them to all day. You guys, I am so all over the place. I know that I wasn't done with my eyes yet, but sometimes, you know, I just get in the mood to finish off my brows. So we have to pause. I'm just kind of wisping out my brows with this as well. Sometimes it helps to brush them backward a little bit. I have very stiff brows, like they do not naturally want to go up like this. So I really have to work with them to get them to feather out at all. They just want to lay flat. They're lazy brows. All right, now that my brows are nice and wild and crazy, then I just go back with my fingernail and gently kind of push down anything that's getting a little bit too crazy, like sticking up above the rest. But I'm mostly going to leave them alone to set like this, and then I will fix any other crazy brows later. Okay, so we're going to go back to our eyes again. Now I am going to take this lightest shade in the palette which is called buff i'm just going to grab this little shader brush and go into buff and just hit this high point right under my eyebrows to highlight the brow bone this will just bring even more light and radiance to your eyes Okay, next I'm gonna grab my L'Oreal Lacquer Liner in Blackest Black. It's a little pot liner and this stuff is so waterproof and does not go anywhere. So I just want to um, define my lash line without making a thick, bold line, but I really want the eyes in this look to be the focus of attention so that they really pop. And then just take this little Essence Eyeliner Brush and I'm really just going to stick along the lash line. So I didn't even wing this out or anything. I'm just staying right along the lash line. And a lot of this will be covered up by our falsies anyways. So if you don't get this line absolutely perfect, don't sweat it. So I'm going to just do the same thing on this side. At this point I am going to grab my lash curler. This one is just from Revlon and we are going to curl the lashes and I usually just pump this about 10 times or so close to the root as you can so that you're not just curling the tip but the entire lash is going to curl up if you get it closer to the root. Then I'm going to grab my new L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. And you guys, I didn't even notice when I made the first video that I got the waterproof version. 
which is ideal because I think on your wedding day, even if you're not a crier, you might cry on your wedding day. There's always a chance. So I would recommend wearing waterproof. Also, if your wedding is outside and you have no idea if it's gonna rain, waterproof is just a good idea on your wedding day. So I'm just gonna throw some of this on. Not a real thick, heavy coat. This is just gonna help our lashes darken up, get a little more voluminous, and blend better with our falsies. Well, I am just gonna grab my Ardell Studio FX Demi Wispies. I love the Demi Wispy shape because it is going to be universally flattering on almost any eye shape. All right, so I am grabbing my Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive in clear, and I am going to just add a little line of glue here, and I'm going to want to let this sit for probably 30 seconds to get tacky enough so that it's going to stick onto my lid and not move around. So I'm going to let that sit and add glue to my other lash. Alright, just so you get an idea of how much glue I add to the lash. There's enough on there for today that it's going to stick really nice. But, um, like on your wedding day, you don't want your lashes falling off, obviously. Here's a helpful little tip. When you're putting your lashes on, take your mirror and lay it out flat on a table and apply your lashes over the mirror, looking down into the mirror. It's going to be a lot easier to get, to get your lashes on than looking straight on at a mirror trying to do it because you're... Your natural lashes are curling up at that point and it's hard to see where you're placing the band. But if you're looking down like this at your mirror, it's, it is so much easier to get that lash band where you want it to go. Let's see if I can do it this with this hand. Nope, <laughs> I can't you guys. Sorry, I'm gonna just be in the way for a sec. Now these lashes. I always stick the middle down first, then I go to the outer corner and stick that down, make sure it's lined up with the edge of my eye, and then go to the inner corner. All right, the lashes are on. I am going to move on to my face and then we'll come back and finish up the eyes when we are done with our foundation so that we don't ruin anything that we're doing down here. All right, so the first thing I am gonna start with is this NYX Angel Veil Primer. And we're just gonna rub this all over the face and I'm going to take special care to push it into my pores here. But we want our makeup lasting all day. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to grab for a special little treat on our wedding day because we want to just be radiant and glowing and make it look like your skin is just like radiating light on your wedding day. So I'm going to grab the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator and this is in the shade Sunbeam. It is their lightest shade but I love it because again it is that nice pearly pink. So I'm going to just rub this on kind of the natural highlighted areas of my face anyways so kind of right here above my eyebrows I don't want to go too far into the middle of my forehead but I am gonna put that all over my cheekbones and a little bit down my nose anywhere that you would normally highlight I want to put this just to give our skin an extra luminous beautiful glowing appearance after we put our foundation on Wipe off my hands so that we're not smearing that all around. So now foundation for my big day. You want to use something without SPF in it so that you are not getting a lot of flashback. Now if your wedding is outdoor, any professional photographer is not going to be using a flash hopefully outside, but you always would like to be safe just in case you do have any flash photography. 
So an amazing drugstore foundation that is perfect for photos is this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And this happens to be one of my top favorite foundations anyways at the drugstore. So this is absolutely beautiful. So I'm just gonna take this, it comes with a little paddle, and start painting that all over the face. And then I'm gonna take my damp Eco Tools Beauty Sponge and just start kind of like pushing that in, pouncing gently with my sponge to work that into the pores without really smearing it around. This is an absolutely beautiful foundation. It looks very natural um, and really just does a beautiful job of melting into the skin and evening out your skin tone. I just love this foundation. I wear this one on a regular basis just for my daily makeup because I think it's so beautiful. Okay, now I'm grabbing my Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light because I want to highlight the face. So I'm going to paint that in some deep triangles under my eyes. Like so. I'm going to take a little bit up on my forehead down my nose, right here on my cupid's bow, and a little on my chin. Because I really want this look to be very bright and light and highlighty. So I'm gonna gently tap that in with my dampened sponge again. And now I'm going to set all of that down, some Cody Airspun powder. Now you guys, this powder has been around forever and it totally smells like your grandma, but it is so beautiful for setting under your eyes that we just gotta do it. We gotta keep using it. Okay, because it is my wedding day and I want very bright, beautiful under eyes, I am going to take this powder with my wet beauty sponge and press that into our concealer under the eyes. And we're just going to leave it there for a minute. This is called baking. And this is going to give us some extra highlight right there under the eyes. So. While I finish up some of my other stuff, I'm gonna just leave that there. Okay, so now, now around the perimeter of my face, I'm gonna use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This powder is so incredible. It's so finely milled and beautiful, um, and it really keeps you matte all day. So this is actually one that I would put in my purse or my Maid of Honors purse to just throughout the day, if you get any oiliness, just take a little dab of this powder and pat wherever you need to calm things down a bit. But especially if you're outside on a really hot day and you're sweating or anything, then this powder is gonna be your best friend. So keep this with you. Okay, so at this point, I am going to just take a brush and kick off the rest of this powder. Okay, so now that that powder is gone, we can finish our under eyes. So I'm gonna just take our Nudes palette again. This shade right here, which is Fawn, I think. Yes, Fawn. And on this little smudger brush, I'm just gonna gently smudge that right under our lash line. Now I really wanna keep this lash line pretty bare because I want most of the drama to be up here and keeping this bare is going to just make your eyes look a little brighter and not so closed in by having darkness on the under edge as well. Okay, now I'm gonna take this Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof, waterproof Gel Pencil in the shade white. I think it's just the plain white one. Cashmere white, it's cashmere white. 
And I'm gonna just apply that to my waterline down here. And this is gonna make our eyes look even brighter and more awake and more radiant and just pure and you know, like a bride. So um, now I'm gonna take our waterproof mascara again and just run a light layer on the bottom lashes. And for our final step on these eyes, I'm going to take the L'Oreal Infallible Pot in the shade Iced Latte. I'm going to take a little bit on that brush and pop that to the inner corner. Okay, we are officially done with the eye. So I'm not going to get real crazy with contouring and bronzing today because I want, again, this look to be nice and light and bright. So I'm actually just going to take the lightest touch with my butter bronzer and just do a very quick perimeter sweep. I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush, tap it off, and just kind of really gently give my cheeks some shape without adding a whole lot of color. So do you see how I just added the little bit of shadow here? But I'm not adding a lot of bronziness to this look. And then I'm just going to wipe off that brush and go in with the exact same brush again. And then I am going to go in with this Flower Beauty blush in the shade Sweet Pea. This blush is just such a beautiful, natural, flushed color. I'm just gonna add a little bit. Right here to the apples of my cheeks, just to give us a beautiful, natural flush. Beautiful, you guys, isn't that so pretty? Okay, and then for highlight, we are of course going to use my favorite Essence Pure Nude Highlighter because this stuff is so natural looking and just looks like you're glowing. We want that look for today, so we're going to pop a little of that right here on the cheekbones and above the eyebrow. Look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. Put a little bit on the nose, wherever you normally highlight. Okay, and at this point, I always just take a buffing brush and kind of gently go over everything just to blend all of that product in so that it doesn't look like stripes or lines or anything like that. So now I'm going in with the Maybelline uh, Matte Ink. Why can't I think? Um, this is their lightest shade called 05 Loyalist, and I love this one because it is going to stay all day through anything. Now I'm just going to take my finger and kind of work that in so it doesn't look so much like it's just sitting on top of my lips. And to finish up, we are just going to spray our face with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. And we are done, you guys. That wraps up this look. I hope that this is something that you feel like would be easy to achieve on your wedding day. There's not a lot of steps with the eyeshadow look. It's just a couple of shadows to really make your eyes look bright and bridal and radiant. I hope that your day is so special and full of light and blessings and joy. Before you leave, remember to go and check out Cruisin' with Ken's to see what she came up with for a bridal look and give her some love while you're there. She is an amazing YouTuber and I am so glad that we crossed paths. So go subscribe to her channel. Remember to subscribe to my channel. You can always hit that notification bell so that you never miss any of the videos that I upload each week. I hope you guys have a fabulous wedding or a special event or whatever you are doing and a fabulous summer. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.